Hi friends, today we will discuss the dice. First of all, we will discuss the definition of dice. What is a dice? It is a very, very important and very, very famous topic in the world. So, dice, first of all, we will discuss the definition. Dice can be defined as colored, ionizing, and aromatic organic compounds, which show an affinity towards the substrate to which it is being applied and contain chromophore and exochrome groups. So definition is the dyes can be defined as colored dyes can be defined as color ionizing and aromatic organic compounds organic means which contain carbon and hydrogen aromatic which have benzene ring aromatic compounds which show an affinity which show an affinity towards the substrate to which It is being applied and contain chromophore and exochrome group. We'll discuss what is chromophore and exochrome and Exochrome groups. So this is the definition related to dyes. Dyes can be defined as colored ionizing and aromatic organic compounds which show an affinity towards the substrate to which it is being applied and contain chromophore and exochrome groups. Okay, what is chromophore? Chromophore group is responsible for dye color due to their saturation. Chromophore group is responsible responsible for dye color due to their saturation saturation and exochrome group And exochrome group is responsible for dye fiber reaction. For dye fiber reaction. We we'll discuss uh, some more related to dyes topic like its uh, classification and some dyes. Dyes are organic compounds which are widely used in for imparting color to textiles. Imparting color to textile. Dyes are widely used to impart 
color to dye textiles. They are produced either chemically, either chemically or from plants. Okay, dyes are produced from either chemically or by plants, unlike paints. Dyes do not build up on the surface of fiber, not build up on the surface of fiber, but are absorbed into the pores of material. Like this is a fiber and dyes absorbed into the pores of the material due to two reasons. There are two reasons. Now listen the reasons carefully. First, the first reason is the size of dye molecule is smaller than size of pores. Why dyes uh, are absorbed in the pores? Because of two reasons. Number one, dye molecules are smaller than size of pores in the fiber. The shape of dye molecule is like thin, narrow rectangle. Rectangular strips of paper. This planar shape makes them able to slip into the polymer system. When the fiber, yarn or fabric is introduced into the dye bath, the second reason is the affinity of dye to fiber due to forces of attraction. Number one reason is the dye molecule size due to which dye absorbed into a fiber and number two reason is the electron affinity attraction of dye molecules towards the fiber. The dye which has diffused or penetrated into the fiber is held there by forces of attraction by uh, forces of attraction between dye and fiber. Few examples of dyes we discuss here. Mordant red 11. Mordant red 11 dye is this. This is mordant red 11 dye. See the structure. Here is triple rings, two benzene rings and one cyclohexane. And here are double bond O, double bond O, OH, one OH and two OH. So this is the mordant red 11. What is this? This is a mordant red 11. This is the mordant red 11 structure. Here is an other dye which is a large structure we don't here discuss. But uh, uh, which is a <laughs> CI basic yellow 28 which is yellow. Mordant red it is red in color structure. Now we are going to discuss the classification of dyes. First we consider the definition of dyes. Dyes can be defined as these are the color ionizing and aromatic organic compounds which show an affinity towards substrate to which it is being applied and contain chromophore and exochrome groups. Chromophore groups are responsible for dye color and exochrome group is responsible for dye fiber reaction. Exochrome group is responsible for reaction and chromophore responsible for color. And there are some uh, examples. Molded red dye, this is a dye. Okay. And why dye react with the fiber due to two reasons. Why dyes react with the fiber due to two reasons. These are two reasons here. These are the two reasons due to which dye react with fiber. Dye molecule and affinity of dye molecule are attraction 
attraction of dye molecule towards the fiber okay now we discuss the classification of dyes classification of dyes it is very very important classification of dyes so dyes are generally classified as in two in two categories number one is the natural dyes which is obtained from nature and synthetic dyes which is obtained in laboratory or from natural dyes so natural dyes like indigo alizarine Cyano wood dyes from trunk, cochineal from insect, cacti, coccus, Prussian purple, which is <coughs> from mineral. So natural dye, we discuss the natural dyes. Lizarin dye, indigo, we make this structure of this dye. natural dyes until 1850 1850 virtually all dyes obtained from natural sources natural sources mostly commonly from vegetables like vegetables plants trees, lichens and few from insects. Solid evidence that dyeing methods are more than 4,000 years. 4,000 years old has been provided by dye fabrics found in Egyptian tombs in Egypt. Ancient hieroglyphs have described various methods of extraction and application of natural dyes. Countless attempts have been made to extract dyes from brightly colored plants and flowers, yet only a dozen are a natural dyes found to be used widely undoubtedly undoubtedly most attempts failed because most natural dyes are not highly stable and occur as components of complex mixtures the successful separation of which would be unlikely by crude methods employed in ancient times Nevertheless, studies of these dyes is 18 provided a base for development of synthetic dyes, which dominated the market by 19th century. Now, alizarin dye. It is a natural dye. Alizarin is red dye. It is red dye. Extracted from the roots of a madder plant. Roots of a madder plant. Rubia pictorium. Two other red dyes were obtained from scale insect. Two other red dyes obtained from scale insect. These include Kermis obtained from Cocos illicis or Kermis illicis, which infects the Kermis oak and cochineal dye, which is obtained from Dactolepius, occurs 
that lives on prickly pear cactus in Mexico. One kilogram, like 2.2 pounds of cochineal dye, can be obtained from an estimated 2 lakhs insects. I mean, one kilogram, one kg dye of cochineal dye, one kg cochineal dye is obtained from two lakh insects. Obtained from two lakhs, two lakhs insects. It is very interesting. The principal colored components in kermis and cochineal dyes are kermisic and ceramic acidic respectively. Now we make the structure of alizarin dye. Alizarin dye is the modern red dye. Here are two benzene and one cyclohexene double band or double band of. and this is OH OH and this is also a benzene ring two benzene ring and one cyclohexane this is the structure of alizarin dye alizarin dye very famous dye very very famous the oldest known dye is the blue dye indigo obtained in Europe from leaves of dyer sword herb. Indigo, indigo dye, indigo dye is a blue dye. It is blue dye and it is obtained in Europe from leaves of the Dyer sword herb leaves of the dye dyer sword herb and isetis tinctoria and in Asia from the indigo plant. In Asia, it is obtained from indigo plant and in Europe, it is obtained from leaves of dire sword herb. And it is in Europe and in Asia, it is obtained from indigo plant and indigo fera tictoria, indigo plant and indigo and indigo indigo fera pictoria tink toria okay <laughs> now we make the structure of indigo dye so first is the benzene ring second is empty third is m h double bond o single bond n double bond o this is the reverse of this this die it is the reverse of this time simply double bond double bond double bond so this is the and here is also a h like this nh nh and here is five turns and one oxygen here is also five turns and one oxygen this is the structure of indigo this is the structure of indigo okay with the process developed by phoenicians a derived of indigo tarian purple 
was extracted in small amounts from the glands of a snail. Moix brandaris indigoneus to Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. So, Tarian purple, here is a bromine, here is a bromine, and also same everything. Now we we'll discuss the synthetic dyes. This is a that is a very beautiful topic. Synthetic dyes. Synthetic dyes. Dyes are very cheap plus. Cheap plus means expensive. Some dyes are very expensive. If you are expert of dyes, you can earn million rupees. The synthetic dyes are those which are prepared by man artificially. Which are prepared by man artificial. Synthetic dyes are further classified into different groups like direct dyes, number one, direct dyes, number two, acid dyes. Number three, weight dies. Number four, azoic colors. Azoic colors. Number five is the basic dies. We discuss number six. Reactive dyes, reactive dyes, number seven is the dispersed dyes, number eight is the sulfur dyes. We discuss one by one. Sulfur dyes, synthesis of dyes, we discuss later. Now we discuss the direct dyes. Heading, note it on your notes and you can see it. Now we discuss the direct dyes. What is the direct dyes? Direct dyes are cheap. These are cheap. Cheap. You can purchase it from anywhere because it is cheap. Direct dyes and easy to apply. It is cheap, easy to apply, easy to apply. But poor of fastness quality. Poor fastness quality. These dyes are also known as salt dyes. It is also known as salt dyes. Are cotton colors. Which dye cotton? Vegetable fibers and various viscous rhea. They are readily soluble in water. It is soluble in water. Soluble in water. Colors of cotton fabrics dyed with direct dyes are not fast. Colors of cotton fabrics dyed with direct dyes are not fast. They are applied to cellulose fibers from aqueous liquid in which an electrolytes 
is added which is uh, usually sodium chloride as it accelerates the rate at which the dye is picked up by the fiber. They generally bleed to make them fast on fabric generally sodium bicarbonate for warm colors and copper sulfate for cool colors is added. Okay. So example is the structure of CI direct blue 71 or Mertius yellow which is direct dye Mertius yellow. Mertius yellow is uh, this. One benzene, two benzene, NO2, NO2. OH this is the Mertius yellow direct dye. Now we discuss the acid dye. Acid dyes they are soluble in water and applied under acidic conditions. Soluble in water like dissolve like and applied under HD conditions the acid dye stuff is mostly used for wool use for wool silk and to a less extent nylon and acrylic fibers the maximum quality of dye absorbed depend upon the amount of H2SO4 present in the bath. Okay, acid dyes are inexpensive, mean cheap less. Oh, sorry, cheap. These are cheap dyes, inexpensive, cheap. They are fast to light, fast to light. It is example of acid dye is acid red 151. Structure of acid run one acid red 151 151 O negative S double bond O double bond O here is a ring benzene ring here is n minus then again n minus again benzene ring benzene ring then n minus n minus again n minus now benzene ring OH There is a different benzene ring like this. So this is the acid red 151. Acid red 151. This is the structure of acid red 151. This is 100% accurate formula for acid red 151. This is also benzene ring. This is also a benzene ring. These are the benzene rings. Okay, so this is the acid red acid dyes. Now we discuss the third, which is the weight dyes. Number three is the weight dyes. 
they are generally insoluble in water insoluble in water h2o okay but are made soluble by use of strong reducing agent strong reducing agent soluble in the presence of a strong reducing agent strong reducing agent soluble weight dye is insoluble in water but is soluble in uh, in the presence of strong reducible agent such as sodium hydrosulfide dissolved in sodium hydroxide they are fast dyes for cotton linen and it is fast dye for cotton linen and rayon they may also be applied to wool nylon and polyester wool it is a can be applied on wool on nylon or polyester etc polyester no wet dye are hot water dyes hot water not black water agency <laughs> hot water dyes hot water dyes are available in both powder and liquid form it is uh, uh, available in powder form or liquid form it is available in powder or liquid form the first synthetic weight dye was indigo indigo was the first weight dye which is created in 1879 weight dyes are expensive because of initial cost as well as method of application it is expensive dye expensive dye Mm, v weight blue four. Now make the structure of weight blue four. First we make three bending ring on upper side and then down side. And in the middle bending ring have two oxygen. Then NH. Here is an H. It connect with this carbon bond. Double bond. Oh, double bond. Oh. So this is the V. at weight blue four weight blue four structure of weight blue four okay now we we'll discuss the type four name is azoic color azoic color the azoic colors are applied to cotton in two stages first step is treatment of cotton with naphtha azoic dye is applied to cotton in two ways it is applied to cotton in two ways applied to cotton in two ways no listen carefully it's two ways first step is treatment of cotton with naphthol treat 
treatment of cotton with the naphthol and in second step naphtholated material is treated with diazotized base or diazotized salt the color development takes place in situ by coupling reaction between naphthol and diazo component they are quite fast to washing and have poor to excellent light fastness azoic dyes are used mostly on cotton and for special purpose on nylon cotton and nylon special purpose azo colors are sometimes referred to as ice dyes because ic is frequently used to bring the dyes to low temperatures azoic colors give bright and intense colors as compared to other classes of dyes example of azoic dye is given whose name is the blueish red azoic dyes blueish red azoic dye make this structure ch3o benzene ring no2 n double bond n here is also a benzene ring upper benzene ring here is a oh c double bond one uh, h and c n h here are two h it is h two h and n is uh, again go to other dye so this is the structure of uh, bluish red azoic dyes bluish red azoic dye make it structure carefully and next is the blue uh, basic dyes number 5 very very important basic dyes good name basic dyes they are the first coal tar dye was a basic dye first coal tar dye was first coal tar dye was basic dye okay it is applied to wool it is applied to silk it is applied to cotton it is applied to acrylic acrylic it is applied to moda acrylic fibers moda acrylic fibers when acrylic fibers were first marketed they were very difficult to dye due to lack of specific dye sites in the fibers such groups were introduced into fiber and brilliant colors can now be obtained with these dyes these dyes ensure fast and bright shades to acrylics example of basic dyes is ci basic green 4 
structure of base ci basic green 4 is ch3 2 n next is the benzene ring double bond N plus CH3 to Cl minus. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon now miss any update. And if you need tutor online for any class all over the world for any class like 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th or for chemistry, physics, math, then you can contact us. Contact us. So next die is, this is the basic dies. You can understand it very easily. It is a first coal tar die was basic die. It is applied on wool, silk, cotton, acrylic, moda, Acrylic fibers, CI basic green 4 it is, is the example of this type. So you can write uh, uh, almost one page with example. So you can again number and consider understand basic type. Now next is the reactive dyes. Number 6 is the reactive dyes they were first developed in 1956 by ICI UK developed in 1956 by ICI UK. The dye is retained by means of chemical reaction between dye and fiber. As such their fastness properties are excellent. Fastness properties are excellent. The fiber is most readily colored with reactive dyes are natural and man-made cellulosic fibers. Natural protein fibers are polyamide fibers. With some reactive dyes, the dyeing can be carried out at room temperature. However, with most reactive dyes, the dyeing is carried out at high temperatures up to boiling. Example of reactive dye is the CI reactive red one. We make the structure. Its structure is a very complex. Dyes are always complex. If you consider it, then you are very lucky. And double bond N. There is a benzene ring. Again a benzene ring. NH Colorine OH NaO3S 
SO3 NA. This is the structure of CI reactive red. CI reactive red. Example of reactive dye. Dichloro triazine. Next is the so you sir, understand it very very carefully. Now we discuss the next dice number seven, which is the dispersed dye. Dispersed dyes, the fibers that are most commonly dyed with the dispersed dyes are cellulose diacetate, cellulose triacetate, and polyester fibers. The fibers that are mostly most commonly Died with dispersed dyes are cellulose diacetate. Cellulose triacetate. and polyester fibers to a lesser extent acrylic and nylon fibers are also dyed with dispersed dyes to lesser extent acrylic and nylon fibers are also dyed with dispersed dyes. To achieve satisfactory color on polyester fiber which is hydrophobic and have significant acryl, significant crystalline content, the assistant of high temperature, high pressure Example of dispersed dye is the structure of CI disperse red 220. To achieve satisfactory color. on polyester fiber which is hydrophobic and have significant crystalline content the assistant of of high temperature and pressure high pressure and carries is taken 
so the example of uh, disperse dies is the ci disperse red 222 ci disperse disperse red 220 this is the example of uh, this die Oh, this is the brief introduction related to the lizarin dye disperse reactive dyes you can understand now we we'll go to the next which is the sulfur dye number 8 is the Sulfur dye. Natural and man made cellulosic fibers are readily dyed with sulfur dyes. Water soluble or deco form of dye is produced through reduction of dye with sodium sulfide or sodium hydrosulfide. Natural and man made cellulosic fibers are readily dyed with the sulfur dyes sulfur dyes water soluble water soluble are leucoform of the dye is produced through reduction of the dye with sodium sulfide are sodium hydrosulfide number three is the the dye liquor is heated to obtain satisfactory rate of dyeing satisfactory rate of dying dying number four is the once the dye is within the fiber, the reduced sulfur dye is converted to its original insoluble form by oxidation with an oxidizing agent like sodium perborate. Example of sulfur dye is the sulfur red salmon. <coughs> Number four point is the once the dye is within the fiber,
the reduced sulfur dye is converted converted to its original insoluble form form by oxidation with an oxidizing agent like sodium perborate example of sulfur dye is the sulfur red 7 sulfur red seven is the example of sulfur dyes there are four points related to sulfur dye sulfur dye is most important it have been asked in exams many times sulfur dyes so the structure of the sulfur dye is first is a benzene ring like this n o 2 double bond o n h h and then again is the benzene ring like this n o double bond and c to again cl and again cl again double bond o c l so this is the structure of sulfur red 7 sulfur red seven this is the structure of sulfur red seven and sulfur dye this all is related to sulfur dye natural and man made cellulosic fibers are readily dyed with sulfur dye number 2 point water soluble are loose form of the dye is produced through reduction of dye with sodium sulfur or sodium hydrosulfide uh, this is the loose form number 3 point the dye liquid is heated to obtain satisfactory rate of dye number 4 point is the once the dye is within fiber the reduced sulfur dye is converted to its original insoluble form by oxidation with an oxidizing agent like sodium perborate sulfur dye is the example there is a one dye and one benzene ring second benzene ring third benzene ring first benzene ring is connected to no2 group and then double bond o then c c double bond o into n h and benzene ring and then benzene ring is uh, connected with oxygen and nitrogen nitrogen and oxygen is again connected with a benzene ring and benzene ring have three chloride groups and one oxygen this is the sulfur red star now we discuss the synthesis of dyes how synthesis of dyes how dyes are produced synthesis of dyes
how dyes are manufactured how dyes are produced the general operation sequences in dye manufacture is this first is the raw material raw material it is go to reactor third is the filter extraction next is the product isolation product isolation and next is the product drying grinding or milling product drying grinding or milling so this is the general scheme for the synthesis of dyes synthesis of methyl orange synthesis of martis yellow and naphthol yellow as synthesis of naphthol blue black 6b so th there are many synthesis of dyes which are here and there are applications uh, we can discuss some example but uh, now i tell you the applications of dyes applications of dyes applications have many useful uh, dyes have many useful applications uh, first in textile industry textile industry textile industry the textile material generally needs a pre treatment before dyeing wool wool must be washed to remove wax and dirt and sometimes bleached cotton must be boiled and bleached to remove pectin and cotton seeds and is mercerized sizes and spinning oil must be eliminated in textile industry dyes are excessively used for coloring fiber dyeing of fiber depends on the dye fiber interaction depending on the nature of dye and the nature of fiber the dye is fixed to the fiber chemically or physically additives such as wetting agent salts carries retarders and others may be added to dye bath along with the dye if required to facilitate the dye process number 2 application in cosmetics dyes have found a wide range of applications in cosmetic industry hair dyes lipsticks nail polish shampoo etc are made of dyes let us look at hair dyes most of commercial hair dye formulas available now are complex that uses bunch full of ingredients and formulas also differ considerably with the manufacturers since we are interested in the dye part let's see what kind of dyes are used in making of hair dye the dye chemicals that are used usually consist of amino compounds like 4 amino 2 hydro hydroxytoline 
फोर अमाइनो टू हाइड्रोक्सी टोलोइन एंड एम अमाइनोफिनोल पिगमेंट्स ऑफ मेटल ऑक्साइड लाइक टाइटेनियम डाइऑक्साइड एंड आयरन ऑक्साइड आर आल्सो यूज नंबर थ्री एप्लीकेशन इन मेडिसन डाइज आर नाउ एन इंपोर्टेंट इनग्रेडियंट ऑफ मैनी मेडिकल टेस्ट मैनी ऑफ टेस्ट डेट आर कैरीड आउट ऑन पेशेंट यूज द डाई टू गेट एकट रिजल्ट वन सच एग्जाम्पल इज डेट ऑफ फ्लोरिसन एंड जियोग्राफी फ्लोरोसिन एंड जियोग्राफी फ्लोरिस इन एंजियोग्राफी ड्राइव इट्स नेम फ्रॉम फ्लोरोसिन द डाई डेट इज बींग यूज वेरी सक्सेसफुली फॉर कैरिंग आउट द टेस्ट एंजियोग्राफी इज अ वेरी वैल्यूएबल टेस्ट डैट गिवज इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी नंबर फोर इज द फूड food coloring food coloring or color additive is any dye pigment or substance that imparts color when it is added to food or drink food colors are available in different far form such as liquids powders gels and pests pastes food coloring is used both in commercial food production and in domestic cooking number 5 and last application it has many application but we discuss only five applications number 5 in photography photography dyes are vital not only to color photography but also in much black and white photography they are used as color sense sanitizers as desanitizers for the prevention of halation effects as filter layers in color photography in color filters and they are constituent of colored images so these are the five applications in textile cosmetics in medicine in food industry and in the photography there these are the applications related to dyes uh, now we <coughs> discuss <coughs> that uh, how senses of dyes how methyl orange dye is produced methyl orange dyes synthesis azo dye methyl orange is produced by an electrophilic substitution with arene dye azonium arene dye azonium salts discuss the synthesis of methyl orange dye synthesis of methyl orange sulfonic acid nh2 s double bond o double bond o oh plus n 
CH3, CH3 in the presence of NaNO2, HCl, water, it gives us methyl orange HO F double bond O double bond O benzene ring N double bond N N CH3 CH3 it is also benzene ring this is the methyl orange it is the sulfonic acid sulfonylic acid and it is the dimethyl aniline dimethyl aniline we can discuss this here listen this is the sulfonic acid and this is the dimethyl aniline these two reacts gives the methyl orange dye this is the manufacture ring of the methyl orange dye okay this is the essence of methyl orange now we discuss uh, we make the naphtho naphthol yellow s and martius yellow chances of martius yellow and naphthol yellow s first of all we take the alpha naphthol this is the benzene alpha naphthol OH in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid OH SO3H SO3H in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 it gives us H O three S. It is the alpha naphthol two four seven trisulfonic acid. O H S O three H S O three H. In the presence of uh, concentrated H N O three. It gives a naphthol yellow S. N O two O H N O two N O two. This is the naphthol yellow s and in the presence of concentrated h and no 3 it gives martius yellow 
ओ एच एन ओ टू एन ओ टू मार्टियस येलो दिस इज द नेफथोल येलो एस सेंसिस स्कीम ऑफ मार्टियस येलो एंड नेफथोल एस फर्स्ट इज दी दिस इज दी एल्फा नेफथोल एल्फा नेफथोल इन दी प्रेजेंस ऑफ कंसेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड गिव्स दी एल्फा नेफथोल टू फोर सल डाई सल्फोनिक एसिड एंड दिस गिव्स alpha naphthol 247 trisulfonic acid and it this gives martius yellow and naphthol yellow as now we make the summary of our things first we discuss the dyes dyes definition like dyes can be defined as colored ionizing and aromatic organic compounds we show infinity towards the substrate to which it is being applied and contain chromophore and exochrome groups chromophore groups are responsible for dye color and exochrome group is responsible for the uh, dye fiber reaction and why dyes react with fiber due to two reason the one is the dye molecules are small and due to attraction of dye molecules and this is the example of dye like mordant red 11 this is the dye the second discuss the second page which is the classification of dyes natural dyes and synthetic dyes natural dyes uh, are obtained first used in 1850 natural source from, obtained from sources like vegetables plants trees and egypt 4000 years ago egypt egyptian used dyes lecithin dyes is the red dye uh, more murder plant it is obtained from murder plant and some dyes are obtained from insects 1 kg cocoil and uh, alizarin dye 1 kg uh, cochineal 1 kg cochineal dye is obtained from 2 2 lakhs insects and this is the structure of alizarin dye three benzene rings one double bond o double bond o oh oh this is the structure of alizarin dye and this is the indigo dye indigo is a blue dye dye obtained from dyes uh, dyer dyer's wood herb dyer's wood herb obtained from dyer's wood herb and acetis your it is obtained from uh, acetis and dyer's wood herb in europe and in asia it is uh, obtained from indigo plant and indigo ferrea tinctoria this is the structure of uh, uh, indigo dye indigo dye one benzene ring and uh, again benzene ring uh, connected with nh double bond o and double bond connected with uh, a uh, five ben ring five ring five carbon ring five turns ring and uh, again benzene ring and nh o oh, this is the indigo dye now we uh, discuss the synthetic dyes synthetic dyes are eight direct dyes acid dyes weight dyes azoic dyes basic dyes reactive dyes dispersed dyes and sulfur dyes first we discuss the direct dyes what are the direct dyes direct dyes are very cheap dyes and easy to apply these are direct dyes are very easy to apply but they have a poor fastness quality salt dyes these are also called salt dyes and these are soluble in water and this is the example of direct dye
we have uh, discussed in previous uh, this is the direct die now there is a uh, die second uh, this is a die is soluble in water applied under sd conditions it is used if our wool silk nylon acrylic fibers it is very cheap and fast to light this is the acid red 151 this is the example o minus s double bond o double bond o benzene ring and mine n minus and then benzene ring and minus n minus benzene ring benzene ring and oh this is the acid red 151 acid dyes go to the next next is the weight dyes weight dyes insoluble in water soluble uh, insoluble in water but soluble in strong reducing agent when we use strong reducing agent it is soluble in water it is a fast for cotton linen and rayon wool nylon polyester hot water powder form or liquid form it is a uh, available in powder or liquid form it is expensive dye first indigo dye was obtained in 1879 and this is the example of weight blue dye three benzene rings uh, oh oh nh nh and this nh this carbon is uh, connected with this n and again benzene ring again benzene ring double bond double bond number four is azoic colors fourth applied azoic dye is applied to cotton in two ways number one is the treatment of uh, cotton with naphtha naphthol fast uh, naphthol it is fast dye it is used for cotton and nylon This is the example of bluish red azoic dye CH3O and uh, NO N N double band N N two benzene rings OH CH2 NH double band bluish red azoic dye it is this is bluish red azoic dye number five dye basic dyes first coal tar this uh, the first coal tar was basic dye first coal tar was basically it is important mcqs this is applied on wool cotton silk acrylic moda acrylic fibers ca basic green for ch3 2 n benzene ring into one benzene ring and ch3 2 cl minus and this is also a benzene ring and sixth is the reaction dyes it is developed uh, first reaction dye was developed in 1956 by ICI UK the example of the reactive dye is the CICL reactive red uh, CL red eye there is a C I reactive red eye red one. This is benzene ring and SO3 Na into and then again connected with the and double N and two benzene rings SO3 Na OH NH SO3 Na and then there is a benzene ring. This is a C I reactive red one dye dispersed dye. Disperse dye example of disperse dye is the C I disperse red 220. Fiber that are most commonly dyed with disperse dyes are cellulose diacetate, cellulose triacetate, and polyester fibers. Acrylic and nylon fibers. To achieve satisfactory color on polyester fiber which is hydrophobic and have significant crystalline content the assistant of high temperature and pressure and next is the sulfur dyes 
natural and man made cellulose fibers are readily dyed with sulfur dyes number 2 point is the water soluble or lysoform of the dye is produced through reduction of dye with sodium sodium sulfide or sodium hydrosulfide the dye